So today we're sharing information, science and findings around the Bertarelli program in marine science in this first symposium to share our scientific findings. Here at the Royal Geographical Society, we couldn't be in a more fitting venue to be talking about science, exploration, and cutting edge discoveries around oceans and ocean conservation. That magical film just gave a glimpse into an incredible world and set the scene for what will be a real indulgence of ocean imagery during this day of ocean science and conservation. And I wanted to um, share the, the fact that this incredible environment is one that motivates so many of us in this room. Uh, it inspires us every day to get involved in terms of delivering our science, our conservation, our policy, or our storytelling. The Bertarelli program in marine science is all about just that. It's about marine scientists uncovering the stories of the ocean, and it couldn't be a more critical time for ocean conservation to do that. We know the ocean is in trouble. We know some of the solutions that we have in, in place, but we need to build a really robust evidence base. We really need to understand more about the interactions between animals and their habitats. We need to understand the role of large marine protected areas in building resilience and recovery around our ocean systems. And so bringing together this program has been particularly important in doing that. The program officially got underway in 2017 um, having been informed by a number of pilot expeditions over the last few years involving a range of uh, research institutions from around the world. And now in its full first year, I'm delighted that we have over 20 institutions involved from seven countries internationally and 63 scientists participating in this program. What's particularly exciting for me is that many of those scientists are at the early stages of their career. And we have 12 PhD students and five master students already part of this program. So not only are we delivering world-class science, we're also training the next generation of marine scientists. What's particularly novel about this program is the interdisciplinary nature of it. We're teaming up seabird ecologists with coral reef scientists, people who tag and, uh, tag and track sharks around the world with oceanographers, people who are interested in the deepest ocean, to those who work in the shallow waters, to work with those who are terrestrial ecologists working on islands. And by truly looking at this whole system and how it interacts, by combining these disciplines that can often work in silos, we're truly able to uh, find new ways of looking at the ocean and new ways of doing things. And this approach of collaboration and interdisciplinary natures and matching up unusual combinations of disciplines is very much at the heart of the Bertarelli Foundation. Their vision, their ambition, and their support for this program has really shaped it to be this really um, ambitious and exciting initiative that involves so many different disciplines. And through doing this, it allows us to bring together those disciplines to answer core questions around the key species, those mobile species, whether they're sharks, tunas, seabirds, or sea turtles, to help inform um, long-term monitoring of the most vulnerable habitats, such as coral reefs, going through such drastic change um, as they are so vulnerable in the context of our changing climate. And of course, how we use that to inform the management of protected areas in the UK overseas territories, more widely um, and globally, particularly around seeing how effective they are in terms of species and habitat protection and building resilience and ocean conservation. But in my job and in what I do, the key is making the science matter. We are not only publishing really high quality, high caliber research, and communicating that in the science, uh, among the science community, 
but we also need to use that science to help inform management and policy. And that's very much, again, at the heart of the program, is making that science matter. And today you're seeing one of the first examples around the science communication, bringing people together who are interested and engaged in this topic from across the world uh, to, in, in a platform of science communication. Beyond that, to think about how we do that to a wider audience, whether that's through our BioScience hashtag, through our, the spectacular videos that you'll see today, uh, but also thinking how we build a more ocean-friendly society and bring forward not only the PhD and master's students, but those at school who might be thinking about a career in marine science and how we encourage that in all its diversity across the world. The center of the Bertarelli program in marine science is our work in the UK Overseas Territory, the British Indian Ocean Territory. It truly is a remote ocean wilderness area which offers enormous potential both as a scientific reference site, an ocean observatory, and a place of discovery. Every single expedition you'll hear about has found out something new. I was fortunate to be there on the first dive in seagrass beds, which were only discovered as an entire ecosystem in 2010. It's truly remarkable in a day when we think we know everything, that there are places, magical places like this, where we still are discovering new things all the time. This is not only just about ocean science and marine science and conservation, it's also about people. You'll see some amazing presentations today, but reflect on the fact this is also pretty extreme science. Working in one of the most remote places on the planet, in the open ocean, delivering safe science as well, and making sure that these, uh, this work is truly important. And I'd like to thank all of the people who support, uh, particularly my team at ZSL, making those expeditions happen. Um, and that's particularly achieved through our partnership with the uh, British Indian Ocean Territory Administration, who are responsible for the management and protection of this key ocean wilderness area and this really important, globally important and significant site. So thanks to you all for, for joining us today and hearing about the great work, and many thanks to the Bertarelli Foundation for setting the bar so high in our ambition to really change marine science and what it can achieve for our planet. Thank you.